is like a life fortune right here. It's gold. Fanta, Fanta, don't you want a 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 ah! Can't get it out of my head. Now it's in your head. Fanta, Fanta, don't you want a Fanta? Hey friends, today I'm going to narrow down the many, many, many choices of self-defense guns down to three. Three of the easiest, three of the most simple, and three of the best, in my opinion and experience. I'm about to be your best friend because I know there's a lot of choices on the self-defense gun market, so many choices, and I'm looking out for you. Now before we talk about these guns, I want you to guess sight unseen without watching the rest of this video, which gun do you think is my favorite self-defense gun? Remember, there's a lot of categories. Don't just think pistol. There could be pistol and shotgun and rifle and blowgun and <laughs> nerf gun. In some cases, a nerf gun would be a good choice for self-defense depending on who's attacking you. But guess down in the comments and we'll see if you're right. I'm gonna rank these three, two, one. Three being my Third favorite, two, one, one being the winner. So let's get to guns. My first one is this. Sig Sauer P238, it's very pretty. That's not why I chose it. Okay, that's a little bit why I chose it, but it is in 380. Neck down version of a nine millimeter, basically. Makes the gun a little bit smaller, and at the time that I bought this, there weren't a lot of compact 9mm on the market. I prefer a 9, but the 380 serves my purpose, and I just kind of got used to it. It allowed me to conceal it a little bit better because it is smaller than the other choices that I'm going to show you. I don't necessarily like the aspect that this is hammer fired for a concealed carry but it's really easy to shoot if you know how to handle it because these little guns, they jump a little bit more, the 380s more than the nine millimeters. Now this gun fits my hands really well and I do like the fit of this. I do have the mag extension. I enjoy how this performs, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't carry it, but I'm not gonna show you today because currently at this point in history, we are in an ammo shortage and this is the amount of 380 I have left. <laughs> so this is not gonna get shot because I might need it. But if you want to see me shoot this, if you want to see me review this in the future, let me know in the comments. Now this one has pearl grips. I think really they should probably be replaced with something else. But for now, this is what I have, this is what I use, this is what I got. But I think I'm going to graduate to this next gun. What I like about the Springfield Hellcat is that it is a nine millimeter. It's slightly larger than what I'm used to, but this is still pretty small and it handles well. It's easy to shoot. Not all compact nine millimeters are. It also fits my hands. I don't like all nine millimeter compacts. They're not all created equal, but I have tested a bunch of them. I would say this gun and also the P365 from Sig Sauer are both really good choices, very similar. Now, I don't own a Sig Sauer P365, so this one is my choice. A kind of a runner-up is the Glock 42. It's pretty good, you know? Again, I've shot it, I don't own it, but it's all right, but I like this one better. So let me show you how this one shoots.
Real quick before I go on with the rest of the video, I want to let you guys know that I am about to teach you guys more in depth, more of my secrets, more of the stuff I've won championships with, more of the stuff I've used to shoot everything from 22s, grenade launchers, to corner shots, to pistols, desert eagles, all sorts of kinds of things, then check out the description and you'll see exactly how to do that. And if you want to support the positive reality of shooting and the freedom that it protects, sporting one of these tees in the description. Back to it. Number one, drum roll please, the winner. Three, two, one. The Angston Arms 9mm AR, a 9mm carbine that I am absolutely in love with. in love with this guy. Well, I just love the platform. You can add accessories to it, you can add lights to it, just like an AR platform. There are other choices for 9mm AR. I just love the hybrid. When I picked this platform up, I was just like, whoa! <laughs> It was so easy, it was, it, was, it was like cheating. So, so simple. This needs to catch on like wildfire. Here's the idea between this gun. This gun is huge. You're not going to conceal carry it unless you are wearing a big puffy jacket. <laughs> There's not a chance that this thing is gonna go on my body. Mm -mm. Not gonna fit. Well, it's gonna fit, but it's gonna be super, super obvious. And you don't wanna be walking around everywhere with your AR hanging out. <laughs> Doesn't sound right. Oh, forgive me. So, obviously this is not for concealed carry, but if you're not looking for concealed carry and looking for a home defense gun, this is a nice, happy medium. A shotgun can have a decent amount of recoil, and it's hard to get those follow-up shots. A rifle, you're gonna have the barrel sticking out further. You have the same problem as you potentially have with a shotgun, where somebody can grab it. Now, somebody can grab this, but it's gonna be a little bit harder. Plus, you can grip this thing like crazy. I mean, <laughs> I dare anyone to try to get this out of my hands. I mean, it's going to be a lot harder than any of the other options. It's so freaking easy to shoot. Maybe it's just me, but I don't think so. You've got to try one of these. It's just very smooth. I'm not even trying to go fast right now. I'm just having a good time. I feel very confident giving this to somebody who was a newer shooter, who, who maybe isn't comfortable as much around pistols, because pistols can be kind of tricky. Sometimes people struggle pulling back the slides, especially women with pistols. This is much easier. See, it's just, it's really easy. So, this type of gun is just easy to pick up, it's easy to handle, it has good balance. I don't know why more people don't recommend these kinds of guns. They are such a godsend. I think not a lot of people think about this platform for home defense because of the rules that used to exist. Thanks to the ATF changing their rules, NFA 
doesn't require any paperwork on these things, which is great. Instead of this being the only thing that's legal, this is now legal. It used to be fine, federal criminal, fine, federal criminal, fine, federal criminal, prison for life. <laughs> Government man, they don't even make sense. Back down to Fanta on the range. I love this thing. Woo! Ultimately, it comes down to you. What's gonna work in your hands? Something that works for me might not work for you. The biggest thing is you need to be comfortable and then you will have the confidence when you need it. It can get quite daunting and I hope that I cut through a path a little bit better for you so you can explore on your own. Thank you for joining me for the fun challenge. Enjoy your shooting, aim true, and happy shooting.